their Lord. He will remove from them their evil and improve their condition. So as we approach the hour in which the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is preparing to make his divine ascension to the Lamb of God, we must be ever diligent in hearing, obeying, and glorifying in the good news given to us by the Lord of the worlds who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. Yes. And those are the oft-repeated six words, accept your own and be yourself. And to know who you are in the divine scheme of things is to know Allah God, the originator of the heavens and the earth. And the Bible puts it like this. In the book of John, chapter 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And in verse 14 it says, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt among men. Go ahead. When we're looking at the word, word, W-O-R-D, and you look at the correlation between word, work, and world, you have a similar vowel sound in letter positioning, W-O-R. Yes, ma'am. And W-O-R is another name or another meaning for war. Go ahead now. W-A-R, which is why I'm reading from Surah 47, because we know that the Surah entitled after the prophet is another name called war. Is That's that right. right? Go ahead. Go ahead. So when you're gleaning the letter D that's after W-O-R or W-A-R, it actually could stand for the letter, the first letter of the word darkness. Because when you look at the shape of the letter D, and I'm gonna write this like this because that's, I'm facing you. It, from an aerial view, the letter D is shaped on the brain facing east. Yeah. And it is considered the eastern hemisphere of the brain. Come on, come on. So when you're looking at this, you're looking at God going to war with himself to dispel the darkness from himself in order to bring light in the triple darkness that created himself. Do you understand? So also the war in the darkness and specifically in the eastern hemisphere of the wisdom and the mind of God, how do we know that the war that Yaku's people made started in the east? And the war of Armageddon is where? It's in the east. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. Allah hated the darkness of himself. And he went to war with the darkness to produce light. How did he do it? He went to work on the darkness of self and produced a whole new world of light, sun, moon, and stars, and a universe that spans 76 quintillion miles. Go ahead. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the ending. Amen. Our time, our God, our Christ, and our Jesus are working and are at war with the darkness of space and time within their inner machinations of not only their own minds, but in our minds by teaching us the truth about the Lord of the world. Go ahead. In the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and also at the war, the minister is launching a war against the sick, sick darkness that is of this world. And the only way that we can be winners in this war, because it is a war, it's not a battle. Go ahead, go ahead, teach. It's a war, and all our war, and under our universal flag of Islam will come a new heaven and a new earth and a new people. But it will not come by way of osmosis, brothers and sisters. We have to get up and go to work to build our heaven on our earth in the midst of our open and closed enemies in order to make the commission of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad made known. Yes, When our budding nation of Islam started, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad showed us that in the midst of the savagery, injustice, and decadence, we can build a heaven on earth sure did, for right. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. had grocery stores, we had banks, we had restaurants and schools, we had 
started a trade, an international trade in commerce by importing fish from other countries. Is that right? And we had healthy people in the nation of Islam. Okay? And we had the faith in our belief that Allah appeared to us in the person of Master Farah Muhammad, yes. and that alone woke us up, come on. cleaned us up, come on. stood us up, and made us to work up into the title of Muslim, a believer of God. All praises be to Allah in the beginning was the word. And the word became flesh. The time has arrived for us to walk in the footsteps of the Jesus in our midst, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, so that we can make our 2019 and beyond commission or heaven on earth. And we got to believe as he believes. We have to demonstrate our faith the same way the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan demonstrates his faith. We have to be fearless in the face of our enemies in the same manner that he is fearless in the face of our enemies. We have to love as he loves. We have to speak truth to power the way he speaks truth to power. We have to be a direct reflection of the light in order for us to walk in the light and be the light that everybody else will see so that they will be willing to be followers of the light and come to birth out of the triple darkness of space and time called the United States of America. In the beginning was the word and the word has become flesh in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad, and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So let us now wake up, get up, and stand up on the word and go to war with the darkness of ourselves and go to work to build a brand new world of freedom, justice, and equality for Go ourselves ahead. and our people. All praise is due to Allah. Brothers and sisters, that is my time. I thank you so much for coming out, and I would like to introduce to you someone that's going to take us into the next phase of our program, Student Minister Landon Muhammad. Asalaamu Alaikum. Y'all got to keep it going for my beloved sister. I'm sorry, let me, let me repeat that. Sister, doctor, student, minister, Anissa Muhammad. If any of y'all fall or drop dead right now, she will bring you back to life, guaranteed. So let's give her a round of applause. That's, that's my personal experience. I literally almost died here, and she brought me back to life in no limit of time. So let me start off. Am I telling the truth, Sister Denise? Yeah, let's give her another round of applause. <laughs> let me start off in a proper fashion. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the most merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah who mercifully appeared to us in the person of Master W. Fard Muhammad, to whom praises are due forever, plus a thousand days as far as I'm concerned. I further bear witness that Muhammad is his messenger, but I do have to clarify that when I say that, I'm speaking of none other than the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, who is at least, at least the messenger of Allah, if we understand. In fact, he's the exalted Christ. If that don't make sense to you, then keep coming back to Muhammad Mas number 27, and you'll get it figured out. Now, why am I so confident in saying that about God and the person? Why am I so confident in saying that about the Messenger of Allah? When they say that the Messenger of Allah, the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, left our midst several years before I was born, they say Master Far Muhammad left our midst several decades before I was born. Because both of them have continued to intervene in our affairs through a beautiful man. A beautiful man that you see, well, you did see to my left, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, and in those three great names, I greet you in the words of peace. As-salamu alaykum. As-salamu sir. How y'all feel? Rise, sir. Thank you. Man, if y'all feel like y'all look, then y'all in good shape. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, I just said something to you, and for some of you, it may have been a little strange. I told you that God came to us the black man, the black woman, the aboriginal man, the aboriginal woman, in the person of Master Fahd Muhammad. Now some of us with bow ties and headpieces internally may be struggling with that. That's, you know, 
I mean, because it's so different. It's such a dichotomy from what this white man taught you. Is that correct? Talk about it. Make it plain. So I got to kind of clarify that just a little bit, as best I can, as best your little brother can. Yes, sir. I'll start off with what our lesson said. Our lesson said that there is no mystery God. <laughs> there is no mystery God. In fact, our lessons say that the Son of Man <laughs> searched for trillions of years for that mystery God, and he didn't find him. So they came to the decision that there is no mystery God. In fact, <laughs> I'm not the Son of Man, but when I look at the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I find I have a hard time finding a mystery anything. We don't believe in anything that's a mystery. There's a cause and effect to everything in God's creation. Is that correct? I mean to everything. In fact, there's not a mystery God. That's not even a mystery devil. How many of you were raised in the church? Raise your hand. Me too. How many of you heard the preacher or your grandmama, maybe your mama say, the devil is alive? Teach. Grandma went lying. She, she was, as we say, she was very near correct. Because that's the truth. The devil is a lie. Yes, sir. But she was just halfway there. She was just halfway there. Not only is it true that the devil is a lie, but it's also true that the devil is a God. The devil is a human being. Yes, sir. The devil is a man. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, some of y'all, 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 y'all don't want to deal with that because y'all, y'all love that man. I'm talking, I'm talking about your boyfriend right now. I'm talking about your, 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 your real, your real provider. You know, the real love of your life. I, I get it. I understand. You, you love him. It's, it's the most tragic love story in the history of the world. The black man's love of the devil. But when I say that the devil is a god and that the devil is a man. You have to start looking around and asking yourself who matches the profile of the devil in the world that you live in. If we were out in public and I said, you know what, I whispered in your ear and I didn't want to point because we were in public and I said, you know what, dude over there is a homosexual. You would look over and you would look for a brother that matches the profile of a homosexual. Is that correct? You would say, which, which brother is wearing a halter top? Which brother is snapping his finger and rolling his eyes and neck like Ice Cube said? Where you where he at? And when you found him, you say, oh, that's 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 what brother is talking about. Is that correct? Yes, sir. If I said that a brother <laughs> if I said that a brother was crippled, you would go looking for a brother who matches that description. Is that correct? Yes, if I said a brother was dirty, you would look around for a brother who got dirty shoes, a dirty shirt, you know, some crust around his mouth. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So when I say that there's a man that is a devil, look around for the last 400 years. Hell, look around for the last 400 months. Look around for the last 400 days. Look around, look around for the last 400 seconds. Who do you see as the devil in your midst today? The devil is not only a lie, the devil is a god. Who was the devil in that masjid or that mosque in New Zealand? Hmm? Who was the devil at the Oklahoma City bombing? Who was the real devil behind 9-11? Come on, man. Y'all need to talk to your little brother. Who is the devil in your midst? Come on. The devil is the white man. However, however, unfortunately, if we really look for a devil, not the devil, but a devil, Usually the first one you will find if you honestly looking for him and you being honest with yourself You're gonna find the devil in the mirror That's right. Because at some point in all of our lives We have been a spitting image. I'm talking about our character a spitting image Of our enemy. He's taught us how to talk how to walk. They taught us how to treat our women He teaching our sisters how to treat our men. Is that correct? So now we have to come to the decision that we have a clear choice. Because Master Far Muhammad, he came and told us that we were gods 60 years, just 60 years after they put it in the law that you were three-fifths of a man. They took that out of the books in 1865. In 1930, Master Far Muhammad made himself known. 
So you have a devil who's telling you that you're less than a human being, and then you have the God telling you that you are a God. So you got a clear choice. Every time you are invited to Muhammad Mosque, wherever you are in whatever city, you have a clear choice. You gonna roll with the devil, or you gonna roll with the God? I mean, it's, it's real simple. Every time you are invited to purchase the Final Call newspaper, yes, you have a clear choice. Yes, sir. You gonna roll with the God, you gonna roll with the devil. It's a very clear choice, is that correct? Yes, sir. There is no, there is no straddling the fence, I'm sorry. Especially not in this day and day and age, there is no gray area. If you take black and white and mix it together, you usually get the color gray, but when it comes to life and death, there is no gray area, is that correct? Yes, sir. So we have a very clear choice when it comes to where we gonna roll and who we gonna roll with. I'm telling you, the time of just sitting back and being comfortable with our condition, with our condition, that, that's over with, over. man, that's done. That is done. Come on, right. So you have to ask yourself, because here's, here's the real truth. I have to be real. Can I keep you 100 <laughs> with my family? Yes, sir. Yes. We have been a tool and a slave to this enemy for so long Come on. that just like a pig, just like a swine, we become comfortable in our own filth. So when you hear the Muslims, when you hear the Muslims say the black man is God. See, for some of us, man, that's the best news we ever heard in our life. And we run to Muhammad. As the messenger said, we fly to Islam. But see, if you comfortable in your filth, man, that's bad news. That's bad news. Because you just got high. You just fornicated. You just stole something from somebody. Now, before I, before I go any further, your brother done did all of that in the past, so you ain't the only one. That's right. Come on now. So, but you were comfortable now in that. You comfortable with being just a nigga. You comfortable with just being just a crip, just a blood, just a pimp. You comfortable with that now. So when somebody tells you a god, then you got to move away from that and you, you ain't ready for that. Come on now. You ain't ready for that life. Like we say, you, you ain't about that life. Or so you think. But we're at a point now where you have to come up out of that That's right. and stop using deceptive intelligence and say, well, 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 you say the black man is God, but, uh, but, 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 but I ain't never, I, how you know? Come on, who, 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 who told you that? Uh, well, well, I heard, I heard God is, well, you heard a lot of foolishness in your 400 plus on, years now. in this wilderness, is that correct? Yes, sir. Like I said, they told you, I heard, they told you that you were three-fifths of a man. That's right. Come on now. That's actual fact. Right. There are history books that still exist to this day that let you know that they used to think that you were less than a human being. Scientific, sir. They tried to tell you that there was a scientific that there was scientific proof yes, sir. that you were less than a human being. Yes, sir. Even though they came from you. Come on, right. Even though everything they do that is of any value, they learn from you. Right. Say that, yeah. See, we question everyone but our enemy. That's right. As our brother and brother Merlin Muhammad said, we question everything and anything but our enemy because we have become comfortable right. in our field. That's right. Comfortable with seeing ourselves. As a nigga, mm. as a Negro, Boy. as a pimp, Boy. you've been lied to so much. <laughs> we even see ourselves, we, we become comfortable with just being an employee. Man, Jeez. That's the American, black, Negro, American dream. I just want to be an employee for a beneficent white man. Ain't nothing wrong with having a job. Come on, man. Yeah. Praise be to a lot if you have a job. Come on. But if you work for anybody, come on. If, you, if they hired your, your, your behind off the street and didn't know you from a hole in the wall, do you know that proves that you work for a successful company? Come on. If they had enough money where they said, you know what, I'm going to hire Shaniqua off the street. I don't know nothing about Shaniqua. She gave me this piece of paper that says she graduated from here and did this and did that, but I don't know. But listen, if I don't hire her now, then I'm going to lose money. So that means you're working for a successful company. So right. while you're working for them, pay attention. Right. Pay attention to how they operate. Yeah. Pay attention right. to the supervisor. I know you don't like her. I know you don't like her or him. 
but pay attention to what they do and what they don't do, yes, and sir. then steal yourself away. So you can add something to your world and for your people, right. and you can stop being a nigga, stop being a slave, right. and accept your purse, right. accept your spot as the God that Master Far Muhammad right. made you and created you to become. Is that correct? The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, and I'm going to close with this. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said that God created everything on this earth to reproduce itself, including himself. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So if he created you, you ain't a dog, you ain't a cat, and you ain't no pig, then what are you supposed to be? You are supposed to be a God. And with that said, dear brothers and sisters, I am proud to once again introduce to you a brother who is, <laughs> this brother, you can tell a lot about an individual by who their enemies are, not who their friends are, because there's a lot of fake friends out there. But his enemies are now the United States government and something that's probably more powerful than the government, the pharmaceutical industry. Because he sent out a warning cry to black mothers not to get their children vaccinated, and he has literally saved hundreds of thousands in the future millions of black babies from being born from vaccines. I'm proud to bring up my big brother. None other than our Western Regional Student Minister, Student Minister Tony Muhammad. Y'all got to get up. Please stand by our good brother. So, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. To that one who is the creator of all things, and to that one who is the revealer of all great and sacred truth. Dear brothers and sisters, I don't care how old any of us get to be in this wicked world's life. There's not one individual in this room that can thank Almighty God enough Come on. Come on. For, Go ahead. for the prophets he has sent to Come on. fallen humanity. Come on now. Today, let us begin by thanking Almighty God for Abraham. Yes, we as a people have to stop allowing our open enemy Go ahead. to cause us to gangbang in the name of religion. That's right. That's right. We have become, in one sense, religious gangsters, not in the spirit of God. Go ahead. Right. To where if there's a people following what Abraham said, then those who are following Moses telling them, you ain't right. Then Jesus come along, and then those who are following Moses, now they banging on them saying, well, you ain't with Moses. I don't know about this dude, Jesus. <laughs> right, go ahead. Uh, then God sends another one, and he's Muhammad. Go ahead. And then we banging again. I mean, every time God sends a prophet and raise him, every time, devil always come behind that prophet and mess up his followers. Go ahead. Come on. And today, here we are. The black man. Yes, sir. The brown man. Yes, sir. And the red man. We are not in our original state. Come on. Come on. No, sir. In fact, the black men and women that you see in America, I Respectfully say you're not looking at real black people. Come on, man. Come on. You are looking at the shell right. of black, but inwardly Come we on. are Caucasian. Right. Come on, man. Y'all all right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Some of y'all look angry. Y'all frowning at me. Go ahead. Go ahead. But I ain't scared of you. Go ahead. Go ahead. I got on my uniform. Yes, yes. Man. Go ahead. I am so thankful 
to that God. Come on now, come on. The same God that wrote the prophecies. Man. There was a prophecy where God saw black people coming in abundance. Right. He saw us losing our name, right. our language, yes, our culture. Yes, yes he did. That's right. Come on. He saw the white man. He right. allowed the white man right. to go ahead. Do with them as you will. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, God told the devil in the Bible six days. Go ahead. Rule. But on the seventh day, I'm going to put you to rest. Yes, sir. The Holy Quran says it like this. Respite me, God, until the day when you raise them. Wow. That means we were going to be put to sleep. Go no ahead. Listen. Understand. Then God promised Abraham, no overshooting, Abraham, with your seed. That's what he said. It's going to be a stranger in a land that is not there. Go ahead. That people they shall serve, and in return, that people will afflict them. Will do what? Afflict them. Come on, black people. Do y'all know what afflict means? Come on. Go ahead. Afflict don't mean they're going to treat you all right. Right. Say that now. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. I'm going to afflict you. Come on. Man. I'm going to punish you. Right. Come on. Mistreat you. I mean, God wrote it before it happened. I'm going right. to afflict you. Not for a day. Right. Not for three days. Not for three years. Black man, you're going to get your butt whooped for 400 years. Then God said, after that whooping, I'm coming. Yes, sir. Go ahead. And I'm going to judge that nation of whom. They shall serve. Oh, they put us to sleep so deep, we don't even know the book is talking about us. Man. <laughs> we think he's talking about the lion Jews <laughs> who have stole the black man, the brown man, and the red man of America's birthright. You got a birthright that you lost. Yes, Go ahead. Yes, sir. Teach on me. Yes, sir. Thank you, Allah. Thank you. Yes, sir. Look at the God. Come on. He told Abraham, I'm going after him. Because a prophet won't be able to handle that cracker in the last right. day. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say that. That's right. I know y'all say, man, you call them white people crackers. <laughs> <laughs> what is a cracker? Come on. Good question. Good question. Huh? If they shall serve them and in return they shall do what? Afflict them. Right. So the overseer with the whip Word. that used to crack the whip, that's Word. where the word cracker comes Word. from, Word. from the white man that would crack the whip. Right. So I'm talking to cracker. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know, see, you have such a good heart even in your fallen state. You are really, I mean, black people even want to think that the nation of Islam is racist. Right. Right. Come on. And that we practice racism. Go ahead. Racist? Yes, we are. Come on. Do we practice racism? No. No. Come on. Break it down. Come on, brother. Yes, don't be looking at me like you're confused. You know you don't know the English language. <laughs> <laughs> you just speak English. You didn't say you know English. Right. Racist. I-S-T. Come on. Huh? The I-S-T definition is the love of. Mm. So when you go to school to learn music and you want to perfect the piano, and then they give you a degree because you practice so much to where you did perfect it, they call you a pianist. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's your fact. Huh? You want to be a doctor, so you studied biology. You pass all the white man's tests, and they see that you have mastered biology. Then they turn around and call you a biologist. Go ahead. Because you've mastered biology. Huh? In the nation of Islam, when we come in the nation of Islam, we learn who we are as black people so yes. we can master our black self. Right. So now I have become a racist. Go ahead. That's it. Y'all all right? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So a man came. Yes, sir. A man came and made himself known. Oh, 
Yes, sir. July the 4th, 1930. Go ahead. God came in person. That's what we teach. Go ahead. Right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh uh. Well, what is God? Come on. You tell me. When I ask you, what is a bear? Come on, come on. You get a picture of a bear in your head. Right. When I ask you, what is a pit bull? Come on, come on. You get a picture in your head, don't you? When I ask you, what is a spoon? Come on. You get a picture in your head. Come on. My Christian brethren said this to me. I know God. Come on. Okay, now I'm going to ask you this question. When I say, what is God? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Did any pictures come up? Come on. Good question. Think about it. Mm. No, because the white man told me God can't be seen. Huh? Go ahead. <laughs> That's what he wanted you to think because he made himself a God besides God. Come on, man. Huh? That's why he put Jesus in his cup. So in the Christian church, you say, when you see the son, you see the father. So if every picture of Jesus had been a white man, you just didn't want to tell me today, when I said God, you saw a white man. Because a black man in America suffered from the white God syndrome. That's right. Yes, he does. Because he knew one day on. a man was going to come and come teach on. you the reality of God, but he was going to make it hard for you right. to believe. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you suffer from self-hatred, so you can't believe you God. Yeah. Nigga ain't no God. Nigga, I'm a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. On, Niggas are God. I want to be a devil. Man. Hey. I've heard people say, say that. Yeah. Go ahead. Say that. Yeah. I ain't going to no nigga heaven. <laughs> really? Gee. That's all the kind of heaven I want to be. Ah. <laughs> well, everywhere I see, I see black people in peace. Go ahead. Go ahead. What's wrong with a black man in heaven? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Something wrong with the sound? No, sir. Y'all hear me? Okay. Yes, sir. Please. So I thank God for coming to us in the person of Master yes, God and Come on. Come on. I'm here to tell you, Come brothers and sisters, a savior has been raised. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes. I don't know what you're looking for. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Are you at the beach on the horizon? <laughs> Go ahead. Look at what the scriptures say about the stupid. Mm. About the ignorant. Come on. I'm going to be among my own. Come on. And they won't even. God said, I come to them as, not that he is, but I come as a thief. Come on, come on. Meaning I'm going to be among you and you ain't going to even know. Right. Why are you coming as a thief? Because you belong to somebody else. He's good. So I come to steal back what was right. stole from me. Come on. Come on. Go ahead.
to say, can any good come out of nigga? I mean, Nazareth? Go ahead. If everything is bad about black people, why is white people trying to get black sweat? Think about it. Go ahead. Why you gonna leave our music alone? Everything we start, you think you steal it. Go ahead. We started rock and roll, you stole it. We started the blues because you were giving us the damn blues. We don't sing about nothing now. Go ahead. Go ahead. We started soul music. We started funk. You wouldn't even know it today. We started hip hop in another kind of way. We were waking up and talking about crackers. We started saying, don't push me. Because I'm close to the what? I'm trying not to do what? Lose my head. Go ahead. Yeah. Teach on that. Come on, brother We had Boogie Down production. Go ahead. We had Public Hand. Go ahead. We had KRS. Teach. White folks said, oh no, we got to put these people back to sleep. Thank you, Allah, for coming in the person of Master. Come on. America from the east, as the scripture said. His mother was Caucasian and his father was a black man. He had to come in sinful flesh to get us because we was in America worshiping white people. So he came looking like a white man because you wasn't going to believe no black man. Because you were suffering from the Santa Claus syndrome. The good tooth fairy. The bunny rabbits. Huh? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. What did you come to do, Master Fahd Muhammad? I came to raise one from among you. Yes, and he raised that Georgia born black man. Y'all better get to know Elijah Muhammad for real. Yes, 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 yes. This man, now, I want you to go back. There's no movies coming about, out about the nation. We need to make one. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. For real. Yes, sir. Everybody done told our story and lied in it. Go ahead. Yes, sir. We need to make a movie about the nation of Islam and this man who came from the east to give you the unadulterated. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He taught Elijah Muhammad face to face, gave him the knowledge of everything, even the planets and the galaxies. Yes, he weighed and measured the earth and gave it to Elijah Muhammad because he said, you are not just the true inheritance of the earth, you are the true inheritance of the universe. All of it. Come on. Oh, I know. I'm, I'm looking at it. I'm trying to talk to through the Negro. Let the kill the Negro mind. That's right. Stop resisting truth. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That Elijah Muhammad only had a fourth grade education, and there was no white religious scholar that could defeat him in debate. Go get your white man. Go ahead. They'll tell you. Ask any white person that you know of high intelligence to debate the nation. They'll punk out every time. Oh, yeah, every time. Come on now. No, I'm not. No. I'm not going to legitimize them. <laughs> <laughs> you should say, well, you scared. Right. <laughs> Look, they can't even get to the Honorable Minister Louis Farquhar. He's too high. Right. <laughs> That's right. We got babies in the Muhammad University of Islam, seven years old, that yes, can sir. handle any religious scholar you bring. I bear with you. Go ahead. Our children were asked the white man one question Come on. that he <laughs> know he can't answer. Was Jesus a Christian? Mm. And if the white man says yes, our children will say, show me where he right. said he was a Christian. Right. Come on. End of the debate. Debate is over. That's it. It's a wrap. See? That's the wisdom we were given. Yes, sir. That we were tricked. We were hooked, we. Go ahead. And we've been happy. Yes, sir. I am so honored.
to be representing a man that's shaking up the world. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. I am so honored that in my humble opinion, when I came in the nation and I heard the first tape of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, deep in my soul, I knew who this man was. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and was willing to go through whatever it takes to follow him. Yes, Come on. And now, it, I mean, years, he's finally said to us, I am yes. the Jesus of the book. Go ahead. Yes. By Allah's grace. So, in their holy and righteous names, I greet all of you today in the greeting words of peace in one of the languages of our fathers. Yes, sir. That Arabic language over there don't belong to light skinned Arabs. Go ahead. Go ahead. That language belonged to the ancient black man. Yes, sir. Come on now. So I greet you in peace. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Salaam, sir. First, let me thank the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for allowing me to serve. I want to thank all of the student ministers who opened up before me, and I pray to Allah that they fed you well. When you come to the mosque, the mosque is not a preaching moment. Go ahead, go ahead. Not under the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan in the nation. It's a teaching moment. Yes, right. Right. That's right. Preachings you don't remember. Mm -hmm. Teachings you can't shake. Tell me the last time you've been to church, you can't even remember what the pastor said. No, no sir. No, sir. But you remember that choir. Yes, sir. Right. <laughs> right. Go ahead. And most Christians will not invite you to the church until the, they know that that's the Sunday where the best choir is going to be Go ahead. singing. Right. So church becomes an instrument to tap and tantalize you emotionally, but you walk out not a new person. Man. That's right. <laughs> When you are being taught, it is supposed to interfere with your thinking. Mm. When you're being taught. Preaching is to entertain. Teaching is to resurrect. See? Because if I teach a truth that you've never heard, it interferes with what you've been thinking. Don't walk away thinking you know the truth based on how you feel. Come on. Your feelings have gotten you in trouble all your life anyway. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. Trying to feel your way through life and look at you. Yes. Yes. Ain't had nan good boyfriend. Nan. That's what I said. I said nan. If I had said none, you would have not caught it. None is small. Nam is a lot of people. You ain't had Nam good girlfriend. And you wonder why I always attract these kind of people. Go ahead, go ahead. But you attract what you are. Don't hurt my feelings. Shake it so. Huh? Yes, you can't get through life on I feel I'm right. You got to get through life based on what you know. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. Then Jesus said, You shall know the, your feelings, and your feelings will set you free. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, he said, You shall know the what? Truth. Come on. And what? The truth shall make or set you free. Go ahead. Huh? It says in the Bible, I think in Obadiah, my people are destroyed for what they feel. Come on now. Huh? Uh oh. It said, no, it says, I'm sorry. My people are destroyed for the lack of what? Knowledge. Come on. No, even in the nation, I watch us in the mosque trying to feel people out. Why? Open your mouth and get to know the person. Come on. You might be in a bad spiritual dance. 
yourself. Yes. When you're trying to measure a person up, eyeball. <laughs> you're wrong. Because a person may come in a silhouette of people who've hurt you all your life. And they're reminding you of every pain until you open your mouth and say, Brother, let me sense this something. Jesus. Me and you cool? Yes, sir. Yeah, brother. Who are you? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, I'm brother, I'm brother, I'm, 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 I'm brother Shadrach. How you doing, brother Shadrach? I just kind of was looking, I just thought I knew you. No, sir, brother, I don't know that. No. Where, where you from, sir? Uh, brother, I'm from Arkansas. Go ahead. Well, I'm from New York, brother. I ain't never been to Arkansas. Go ahead, go ahead. You know. but, but tell me something about yourself. Now, you're out of speculation. Come on, teach, teach. Now you know. Come on. Because some of us is so silly, you know, I, I watch people say, no, no, let me tell you something. My intuition served me well. <laughs> Chicken, sir. Chicken, sir. Uh, yeah. I know that I read people like a fuck. Can you read? You can't even read. <laughs> Go ahead. You so smart, you in the projects. Come on. Why you can't read yourself out of poverty? Come on, come on. Come on, wake us up. Wake us up. See, when you tell me what you know, I look at your condition because if you know something, you wouldn't be in the condition you're in. Go ahead, go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. I'm just trying to humble us. Yes. yes sir. I want us to get into the spirit of being a student. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because we come with so many preconceived ideas about what we're going to hear. See, when people tell me, Minister Tony, I, I heard what you said, man, but I, I'm just feeling it ain't right. I said, brother, get out of your feelings. Go ahead, go ahead. Take what you just heard and go fact check me. Come on, come on. That part. Go check my facts. Yeah. And if you find what I'm saying is the truth, then you need to adjust your mind. Go ahead. I'm telling you, you've been lied to all of your life. And I'm telling you, you are illiterate. You are ignorant. The white men have never taught you to read. You know how to pronounce words. Right. Yes. You're good at pronunciation. Right. Yes. Woo. When I ask you, what does that word mean? And how is it being used in that sentence you just gave me? Because the English language, of all the language, is the hardest language to learn and understand by people outside of the English language. Right. Right. Because one word have too many damn meanings. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> huh? And in the English language, the language is not broken down the way God wanted it. He wanted the language in masculinity and femininity. Right. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Because he's both a he and a she. Jesus. So that's why in our language and in our land, whatever the man name was, the woman was the name equivalent. Right. If you was Brother Halim, your wife is Halima. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. You teach him. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So I thank Allah. I don't know about you. I've been wanting to save you all my life. I'm just glad I woke up to the fact that he ain't a cracker. Go ahead. I mean, look, if he was white, I wouldn't have a problem, but I'm glad he ain't. Right. I told you I was a racist. Go ahead. Not a hating racist. I'm a racist who love who I am. Right. Remember, I taught you what IST means the lover, right? Right. So I'm honored to be representing a man. This man, if, if you study Minister Farrakhan and you read your Bible, mm -hmm. see, this is how you should be doing. Yes, sir. We're in what is called the last days. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? Yeah. Right. 
We're expecting a Messiah. We're expecting Jesus. My question to you, what if he's already here and you're missing him? See? You're looking for the lie that the white theologians have told you. You're waiting on some cloud to open up. No, the only cloud that's going to open up is your clouded thinking. You're thinking cloudy. And when the revelation of God come to you and the real man, it's going to move the clouds of your thinking. You're going to be like, wow, Jesus was here all the time and I didn't know it. Go back and study history. Every prophet who right. came among the people, the people didn't recognize until he was gone. That's right. That's right. Man, come on now. You have an opportunity now to learn who the Jesus is before he leaves. Right. Oh. That's right. So my subject today, it's titled, A Savior is born for what? Oh. For humanity. Yes, sir. All of humanity, and the minister said, no one has to perish. No one. Yes, sir. What is the Pope going to do? What is the head of the Baptist church going to do? What is the head of the Methodist Church and the Episcopalians? What are they going to do when they find out Farrakhan is the Jesus I've been waiting for? That's right. Don't you know? That's right. Don't you know? Go ahead. Ooh, some of y'all looking at me. Let me look away. Let me take off my glasses. People looking at me like they want to do something. I don't want to get keyed in because I'm in the spirit of doing something too. Go ahead. And be like you want to do a dance called a haul off. <laughs> Go ahead, teach. Teach on that haul off. That's a black thing, huh? Well, I haul off and knock you. So, you ready, class? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> kind of want to run us through some things. In the Bible, in the what? Bible. Bible. We're taught that the Bible had been written in a way when Caucasian people got a hold to the Bible, they changed it. Right. Uh 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 uh. See, there you go with your feelings again. That's right. I want you out of your feelings and I want you to think. I have this conversation with the pastors. I said, Pastor, is that Bible? Directly from God? Mm. Come on, think about it. Yes, absolutely. I believe it with all my heart. I say, who heart do you have? Mm. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh. Mm. I say, are you talking about the physical heart in your chest, or are you talking about the core of your thinking? Yes. Oh, the core of my thinking. I said, then I know. You ain't talking about yourself because the core of your thinking is Caucasian. Peter. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Break it down. Break it down. That's right. No, but you, you didn't ask me that. You asked me, was that book directly from God? <laughs> I said, if it was directly from God, who is this imposter, imposter that put his name King James on it? Go ahead. Think about it. Go ahead. If it's directly from God, why don't it say God, Jehovah, Allah's version? Come on, come on. Come on. Who gave King James the right to say that's his version? Come on. Then he even put in the book, since you say it came from God, I'm going to show you what Satan did to you. Open your Bible, Pastor. He opens it. I said, what, is it, what does that word say? This is the new revised. He didn't even want to say the word. <laughs> this is the new standard revised version. I said, what does revised mean, Pastor? Come on. He pulled out his phone, looked up the word revised, and saw that it means change. I said, who changed it? Go ahead. Go ahead. 
you get my drift now, right? Yes, sir. But we are taught that the Bible, God allowed Satan to touch it. That came out of God permissive will because remember he told Satan you got six days to fool the original people. He didn't mean six literal days. Timothy clears it up. In the book of Timothy he said one day equals a thousand years. Right. And a thousand years equals what? A day. Come on, come on. So here's the people who were going to get a chance to rule for 6,000 years. And since the original man had the original knowledge of everything, then the imposter man, the grafted man, had to come and revise everything because that's his nature. Go ahead. Yes, sir. He can't leave nothing in his original state. Teach. Y'all y'all follow me? Yes, sir. No, white people will tell you. No, no, we left nothing alone. Man. Everywhere they went, that country or that landmass had a name. They changed the name of that landmass. True. 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 Come on. Didn't they? Yes, sir. We didn't call Africa Africa. They started calling it Africa. We called it Asia. Go ahead. But a cracker, Africanus, yes, <laughs> conquered it. Since he conquered it, he named it after his conqueror. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Huh? So the book of Revelation said, and the white horse went out. Right? Yes, sir. And the rider was what? Yes. Death. Yes. And they went out for to conquer and for conquering. Yes. Did they do it? Yes, sir. Yes. See, what I like about white theologians, they different from nigger theologians. <laughs> Go ahead. White theologians don't fight me as hard as the black preachers. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. Sister Mary, crack it up. <laughs> y'all know, y'all know Sunday is part coming. I'm going to start charging y'all for something. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's comedy, man. I need to go on a tour. Yes, Called a truth laughter tour. <laughs> but they don't fight us as hard. But the black preacher fight us hard. We will show them the truth and they get upset and want and they get angry instead of adjusting. Go ahead. Go ahead. See? So you shall know the truth. And the truth shall what? So in the nation, we'll talk that the Bible has truth in it. It's just been tampered with. Right. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. And God would have to come and reinterpret the book because the book, when white folks got it, they did two things. They wrote it metaphorically and put it in a Greek language that loses you. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Then they wrote parables and similes. Right, come on. Diluting the story because if they had left it in its original form, you would have knew instantly it was talking about you. Right. Go ahead, go ahead. So they hid us in coded words. Yeah. Like the dead. Come on, come on, come on. But they made you a literal people as a slave. You think dead means somebody in the ground. No, you could be walking and what? Dead. That is the truth. You can be living and not alive. What? You either got two kinds of styles. You either got a lifestyle or a death style. Look at our people. Most of the day, what their activity is all involved in death, even what they put in their mouth. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. So when this man, Master Farad Muhammad, came, he reinterpreted the Bible and showed Elijah Muhammad the 26 keys or letters to understanding the Bible. Mm. Yes, sir. And when he gave that to the honorable boy Elijah Muhammad, that gave him the power to raise the dead. Oh, yes. Huh? Yes, Remember last week I told you I asked the Christian pastors because one of the strongest beliefs of Christianity is the resurrection of the dead. Right, right. Come on. But the pastors believe, many that I have spoke to, I said, now come on, pastor. You mean to tell me, let, come on, let's go up to Inglewood Cemetery. You mean to tell me that all of these graves going to open up? 
Yes, Brother Man. I just believe that all my heart. I said, okay, if this is the basis of what you teach, why is your church located on the corner of Figueroa and Manchester? It should be right here in the cemetery. Right. Come on. Show me how powerful your God is. You say you with Jesus? I'm going to sit right here. Tell all these niggas to get up. Right. <laughs> if they get up, I'm with you, homie. <laughs> Maybe. I'm going to run first. <laughs> Come on, y'all got to be honest. If you saw some people getting up by the grave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dusting they self off. Come on, come to me, baby. I'm back. <laughs> it's the hood. We don't play that. Oh, oh. No, oh, you know. <laughs> That's not what the scripture is saying. The honorable boy Elijah Muhammad was taught that there's three levels to death. Spiritual, mental, then physical. Yes, sir. If a man kills your understanding of God, you dead on a spiritual level. Right. Mm. Then if a man changes your name, your language, your culture, and force his on you, he download all his poison into you. Come on, come on. And you're walking. That's a dead man. Hmm? You on you walking the green mile. Dead man walking. Go ahead, go ahead. So when Elijah was taught the book, in the book of Habakkuk, it talked about where God was coming from. Go ahead. That's right. See? Look at this. This is Master Farad Muhammad. This is the man that taught the honorable Elijah Muhammad. This man was so wise. Wise. He was God in person. Was he the originator of the heavens and the earth? No, but he has the knowledge of all of that. Go yes. ahead. Yes. And he can exercise the same power that the original God exercised. Go ahead. Right. Uh, right. Because God is pure energy, pure spirit. Yes. He can neither be created nor destroyed, but he can change form. Go ahead. Yes. He's constant. He never goes away. But this body is like a receptacle. It can blow. Come on, come on. The electricity in this building, as long as we pay the bill, is <laughs> constant. But those light bulbs, at some point, it's got a date to where they're going to run out. Don't right. mean ain't no light in the building. That mean that bug couldn't handle it. So we take that God out and we put another replica up, turn it, you it see? picks up the light, and the God is back. Come on. Hey. It's just that simple. Hey. Now hey. look at these scriptures. God came from what? T man. man. What is T man? Oh wait a minute. God came from T man. T man was a tribe or. You know, T man was the son of Adak. Go ahead, go ahead. They live in this area in Arabia. Come on. All of the prophets. Have you ever noticed that? Christianity headquarters is in Europe. All the prophets came up out of this Thank Arabian you. area. Think well, why it. is the head of Christianity not in this area? Why is it in Europe? Think about that. Think about that. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. God came from T-Man, but the Holy One came from this area of Mount Perez. Mm. His glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. Mm. And his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand. And there was the hiding of his power. Go ahead. Go ahead. This man, he went to every continent. Yes. He studied for 42 years, yes. man, to... Receive us, Go ahead. this man. Yes. He stood and measured the earth. Mm. He beheld and drove asunder. So when he gave Elijah Muhammad supreme wisdom, the first thing we had to learn was the measurements of the earth. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. In the nation, didn't we? Yes, sir. He told us that the earth was 196,940,000. Right. 
The land covered what? 57,255,000 square miles. Come on. He told us how big our swimming pool was. Go ahead. He said the water covered what? 139,685,000 square miles. Hills and mountains covered what? 14 million square miles. How much does the earth weigh? 16 million tons. He gave us that in 1930. White people took that from Elijah and put it in the encyclopedia. Uh, he stood and mentioned the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nations. Mm. And the everlasting mountains were scattered. Mm. And the perpetual hills did bow. That's government. Mm. Go ahead, go ahead. His ways are everlasting. Then he said, I saw the tents of cushion in affliction. That's oh, us. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. The curtains is the government, the lies that's been told. Come on, come on. Now a man is telling the truth, and they tremble when you come to the nation. Mm. They tremble when Farrakhan come to town. Go ahead, go ahead. Because they saying he's uncovering our lies. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What else? In the book of 2 Thessalonians, it says, For yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Mm. Mm. He came to America. He was here for three and one half years. Yes, he told Elijah Muhammad, look, in the upcoming weeks, when I start teaching you on the will, come on now. Ezekiel's will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The white men know what they call UFOs went up. In 1929, the year the stock market crashed. The wheel went up. We're going to talk about that in the upcoming. And they never said Elijah Muhammad was a lie. In fact, he had the measurements of the wheel. Yes, sir. He knew it was 1,500 bomber planes. The FBI, when they arrested Elijah Muhammad, they took those measurements. Gave it to Hollywood. Then Hollywood came out with a film called what? Independence Day. Go ahead. Come on. Come on. Yes, on what day? July, July the 4th. Oh, oh, man. You can't make this stuff up. Go ahead. Let me move through. What did he come to do? He came to raise this man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You, this man. Go ahead. I will raise him up a prophet from among their brothers like unto thee. He's talking to Moses. And will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command. This is Deuteronomy, God talking to Moses, telling Moses, I'm gonna raise one like you. Mm. Come on. Moses didn't go to school. Come on, think, think. So you waiting on your leader to come out of heart. Or you looking for your leader to come out yelling. <laughs> right. You looking for your leader to come from Morehouse. Morehouse don't make men. No, sir. Mm. Teach. <laughs> Boy, I got a problem. Yeah. Yeah, he ain't coming out of no black college. Oh, yeah. He said, Moses, he's going to be like you. This man Elijah is like him. <laughs> Y'all all right? Yes, sir. How many years we were going to suffer? 400 years. They turned us from the original man to Negro, cool, now niggas. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's the work of Elijah. What else did they do to us? Mm. Talking about a savior. Now, here's how they found us in our original state. Right. Yes, sir. We had our own names, right? Yes, sir. We had our own religion, right? Yes, sir. We had our own culture, our own language. We had Africa on our mind. These crackers came in God. Mm. Look at what Deuteronomy said. Deuteronomy 7 and 4. For they will turn away thy sons from following me. Mm. That's right. Right. That they may serve what? Oh, Other yeah. gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. You done changed my people to the name Johnson, William, Culpepper. They now speak in English, Spanish, French. They're worshiping your holidays, Christmas, Easter, Halloween, all rooted in lies. All lies. That's right. That's right. They got the image of you instead of me. They're practicing Christianity, Catholicism, atheism, Judaism. This is a germ. This is a virus. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Now somebody got to come and get this. Mm -hmm. You used to be what? This. Yes, sir. You've been this for 400 years. 
Now here come a man to get you back to this. Go ahead. You're going to resist him. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, sir. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Look at what Abraham said. I'm going to give you pictures because every week I need you to see what I'm saying. Right. Literally. Go ahead. All right? Every week I'm going to show you what happened to Mama and them. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Y'all. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Mama them. See, that don't even sound. I'm going to show you what happened to Mama and them. See, y'all get that. See, I love it, man. Amen. Genesis. God said unto Abraham, No, but surely that thou seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, right? right. And they shall serve them, and they shall what? Afflict them. How many years? Did this happen to us? Yes. Come on, talk black to me. Yes, sir. Look at these plantation owners. Look at the condition of this brother. This is how you are when you go before the county judge. Yes, sir. Right. Right. These are plantation owners bidding for this Negro the way they bid for you when you go before the judge and get your sentencing. Amen. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge. America is being judged for what they did to us. That's the truth. Go ahead. Huh? That's the truth. I got you, Black Lives Matter, but you can't pay these crackers back like God gonna pay. Go ahead. Go ahead. We too soft hearted. When God want to kill you, he don't play. That's right. Right. One hit, boom, earthquake. Right. 80,000 people dead. Who do you blame? Go ahead. God don't care about you digging people out? Yeah, man, say that. He don't lose no sleep over 80,000 gone. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Yeah. That's right. And also that nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. And afterwards, what? They shall come out with what? Great, Great substance. And thou shalt go to their fathers in Islam. Thou shalt be buried in a good old age. Look at this sister. What did she do? She's hanging from a bridge. What did this brother do? They burned him on a cross. Now these are Christians. Sure is. Sure is. Look at this brother. They're whipping him. Boy, I wish a cracker would. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Just take a quick look. I'm going to show you. See, um, we need a savior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said, God did not come to save us from our sins. He came to save us from the sins of white people. Come on, yes, sir. Go ahead. In order for you to be sinning as a people, you got to be in your right mind. Mm. You got to be in your right name. You got to be in your culture. You have been made into another people. Right. Although you black, you white. That's why when we teach black, you fight against it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Look at the horror of what we suffered yes, for 400 years. Now these are pictures they do have. What about the brothers who was murdered and the yeah. sisters that were murdered pictures you don't have? Think oh, about man. that. That's right. Think about that. That's why I respect Jewish people. They always show their youth the horror. Yes, right. We be right. like, no, I don't want to remember none of that. Yes. 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 Go ahead. Oh. A people who don't know their history is doomed to repeat. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's the truth. That's the truth. That's the truth. Somebody always got to be on the guard looking for somebody coming to try to do this to us. We always need somebody standing guard. Go ahead. Teach. Somebody, when they come into the black community, somebody need to question them. Hey, what, what, what's up? What's up with y'all? What, what y'all doing? That's right. Go ahead. No, we do that. <laughs> yes, sir. Remember that time we went out, brothers? Yes, sir. And these white boys from the Church of the Latter-day Saints <laughs> was right over a couple of streets over on their little skateboard with their Bible messing with old black people. Right. The gang members never even questioned them. No. Wow. I went to the gang members. I said, who, who is them? <laughs> no, we don't know. I said, what do you mean you don't know? Come on. I said, I thought this was your hood. Yeah. Think about it. Go ahead. See, a gangster now won't even question white people. Yeah. If them had been black boys, yeah. what you think they would have did? Come on. Shh. 
<laughs> they feet like this. <laughs> Go ahead. What up, cubs? Blood. I said, y'all don't know who this is? I said, watch this. I said, come here, man. Little white boys walked over all chipper. <laughs> y'all remember? <laughs> I, said, I, said, who are, I said, who are y'all? What you doing in our community? Say that. I really like this white boy's response. He said, no, who are you? Wow. <laughs> Good. Come on. I looked at the brother. The brother looked at me. Yeah. I said, cracker, I'm asking the questions today. Go ahead. That's <laughs> Gang members looking. I said, y'all from the church of the Latter-day Saints, huh? Go ahead. Yes, that's exactly where we're from. I said, so y'all from that church where your racist founder hated black people. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on now. They start choking up. I said, I said, brother, I told the gang, I said, you got a phone? Google this. Come on, come on. And they Google the name and the, the homies like, shh, it's true, these crackers don't like us. <laughs> Go ahead. I said, so you are in our community to do the same thing your founding fathers did? You keep wanting to lie to us about religion when you know your religion is rooted in hatred of us? Come on, come on. Well, we don't believe that no more. I said, I can't trust that. Right. I hear what you're saying, Whitey, but we can't trust that, so I'm going to ask you to leave. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, some of y'all don't like that. They kind of resisted. Then the brothers just did one little step. And they, they felt that energy. They got their little skateboard. Go ahead. I know I'm going to get arrested now because went, it went out loud. Go ahead. They're not doing this openly now. They hanging you differently. Yes. They doing it with vaccines. Yes. They doing it through the water. Yes. They doing it even through candy. Yes. Come on, talk. Man. Huh? They have weaponized everything. They weaponize your weed. Yes, sir. Come on. Teach. Just look at that. See, I hate to see our women. Now, this is what he have to do. Behold, I will send you who? Elijah. The prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall do what? Turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. And the hearts of the children to their father, lest I come and smite the earth with the curse. Wait a minute. Why you got to turn us back to our fathers? Because the white man turned you away. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. <laughs> and ever since you've been turned away from me, you've been suffering. That's true. So the honorable boy Elijah Muhammad too was a type of Jesus. Come on, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. So now remember, this is what they did to us. Remember that, right? Yes, sir. It's in our original mindset. That's our down downloaded mind. This is the virus put in us. Go ahead. Look at what Jesus had to do. And from Jesus Christ, who is a faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead. This man. Go ahead. And the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us what? Of our sins in his blood. Meaning his teachings. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, your blood is what keeps you alive. It takes the oxygen from the brain through, I mean, just throughout the body. And it communicates. So we've been washed with his blood. Okay, after being washed with his blood, what would that do for us? Here we go. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Once we got the teachings of Elijah Muhammad, did we come out of this place? Go ahead. I want to thank Brother Brian. Yes, sir. Because we never had a caricature of the sister. That's right. This is the first one. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. Why ain't that people? Yes, sir. That's the guy in the home. Hey. Oh, crazy. Raising 
Yeah. Y'all like that, sister? Yes, yes sir. sir. All praises due to Allah for Brother Brown. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at it. See, this is what the white man did. And remember when I showed you how the Jews said that they was going to make talks of our women? They did. Go to TV and look at love and hip hop. Come on, come on. Look at what they doing to the sisters. After the white man destroyed the black man, he's now destroying you sisters. He got to destroy the manufactured plant that manufactured us. So now the white man is not trying to teach you through uh, uh, inspiration. He's killing you through re-stimulation. He made you so hateful of your man that every time you see a black man, you get re-stimulated. <laughs> Think about it. Come on. Well, I heard some laughter on this side. Sisters felt that. Like, oh! But it's going to be all right, sister. Right. We're going to make him over for you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. We're going to make him over. That Elijah Muhammad, when he taught, I mean, and he taught it until he found one. That's right. Mm. That's, right. That's right. That could take his place. He was so wise. Mm -hmm. Elijah Muhammad's mind was like a woman. His mind was so feminine that it became God's womb to make a son. Go ahead. And he impregnated the honorable Elijah Muhammad with the sperm of his truth. Go ahead. Huh? And from his mind, he would do this man. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's the best preacher I had in the bounds of North America. He said, through him, I'm going to get all my people. He's a humble brother. And when he gets you over on the other side, he ain't going to say, look at what I've done. He's going to say, look at what Almighty God are loving. He said, that man is a humble brother. So therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin people shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name what? Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God is with us. Let me tell you something. Go ahead. If, you, if you ever meet Minister Farrakhan, when he walk in the room, you're going to know. Go ahead. Go ahead. You start fixing yourself. <laughs> no, he's a humble brother. Yes, sir. Powerful. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you see why white folks are so shook up. Yes, sir. <laughs> I tell white people, you all have never really met a real black man. Right. Go ahead. That won't compromise. That won't bend, won't scratch when he ain't at you. You tell a joke it ain't funny, he ain't gonna laugh. Right. See that. See that. Jeez. I'm talking about a black man, he ain't so happy to be around you. Come on. When he show up, in fact, he make you, look, brother, when we show up around white people, they really should feel uneasy. Right. That's right. Yes, sir. At first. <laughs> Let me keep going before I get called into Chicago. <laughs> and a, what a virgin shall. See, y'all got this whole thing about virgins mixed up. Come on. Come on. A virgin just don't represent a woman who's never had sex with a man. A virgin can be a mind. How does a mind be a virgin? A mind that has never heard the truth. Right. A virgin people who don't know who they are. So let's look at the word virgin. Virgin. A person who has never had sexual intercourse. Well, you. you, you. <laughs> Now you're mad at what it produced. <laughs> Can't find your damn baby dad. See, I told you your feelings have gotten you in trouble all ah, the time. Oh. I feel this the man for me. No, you better know it's the man for me. Ah, 
we, we done mastered your feeling. We know how to come. Let me get that door for you. Go ahead. We set up bodies. Oh, sister, I got that. I'm paying for this one. What you want? Double cheeseburger with what? <laughs> oh, but that third dinner? Yeah. Now you pay for it. Now the real man is coming out. Then he ain't opening the door no more. Now he throw you the key. Uh, let me tell you something. I can't stand. I can't stand when I walk right around LA seeing brothers being rolled around by yeah, come That's on. right, that's right. See you. Something set right with you. Anyway. Yes, sir. Version. Yes, sir. An unmarried girl or woman, ecclesiastical. An unmarried religious woman, especially a saint. The Virgin Mary, the mother of Christ. Informal. Mm. Informal. Any person who is uninitiated. Think about it. Any person who's what? Uninitiated. uninitiated. Uninformed. Or the like. He's still a virgin so far as hard work is concerned. What are you uninitiated with? A knowledge of self. Go ahead. What are you uninitiated with? Who God really is. Go ahead. Who the devil really is. You don't know. So you're a virgin. Mm. Go ahead, sir. You're uninformed. Right. When I ask you the question, who is the original man? Come on now. I don't know. Why don't you? When I ask you the question, who is the devil? You are uninitiated. Mm. Then I come and say, well, what are you? I'm an American. What is that? Yeah. Since when? Then when I show you the definition of an American, and Amer the true definition of an American is any Caucasian people person from Europe who now resides in America. So true. That's the truth. That still ain't you. Go ahead. Yeah. Never will. So have you been indoctrinated or truly educated? Mm. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. Sir. Another definition. You become deaf. Mm. Deaf. Dumb and what? Blind. Blind. What does deaf mean? Partially or wholly lacking or deprived of the sense of hearing. Mm. Unable to hear. Now that's like physical deaf. Refusing to listen. Oh. Oh. You know that. Come on now. <laughs> you know why our people, when the nation come around, don't want to listen? Mm. Because we're interfering with their devil. That's right. Because the devil got their mind. And the devil in their head said, hit them niggas come. Exactly. <laughs> they're going to try to get you to stop pimping. Go ahead, sir. You know them niggas don't have fun. <laughs> yeah. See? See, I touched something right there. I hit a, I hit a buck up. Yeah. We ain't no getting hot no damn more. Come on, now. No, you can't run through women no more. That's right, sir. Oh, since you have to you have to you can't show your butt no more. That's right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did you take these blue eyes out? <laughs> That's right. Go ahead. That's the devil riding your intelligence. <laughs> and, and you know, you know, you're maybe eat pork. They're gonna take my chillies. See, now you're talking. You said they're gonna take my chillies. <laughs> you been put to death? Yeah. We are deaf. Man. So that's when you see the nation, man. We in our uniforms, man. You don't know how to take this. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's right. That's right. Wait till we go to the peace ride when the police see me. He gonna know. Oh, shit, the real police just shot. Right. Go ahead. That's deaf. Dumb. We deaf, dumb, and what? Blind. Deaf, dumb, and blind. What is dumb? Lacking intelligence or good judgment. Good judgment. Good judgment. <laughs> How many of you really got the perfect person in your life? Mm. Come on. 
<laughs> How many of you, your feelings about who you now with got you in trouble? Have your feelings ever got you in trouble by anybody you dated? No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you think back, didn't God show you something that you kind of overlooked? Yeah. That was a sign, You start He gave it right to you, you overlooked it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Then you, then you went into a God like saying, yourself, oh, I changed that. Either. Okay. How many girls you're hurt? A lot. How many girls you lied to? A lot. How many bad relationships you had? A lot. I love that song, man. How many niggas you shot? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> we tell dumb and blind, man. Ain't that beautiful? Temporarily unable to speak. Dumb with astonishment. Refraining. <laughs> refraining from any of much speech we cite when it comes to truth. Right. Go ahead. Made dumb without speech. Lacking some usual property. Deaf, dumb, and blind. Mm. You blind? Yes, yes sir. sir. See? Sometimes when we say Jesus gave blind sight, you yeah. literally think he took somebody who can't see and just oh. abracadabra yeah. now, Stevie yeah. Wonder is yeah. like, damn! Yeah. <laughs> 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 I tell preachers all the time, you want with Jesus, go make Stevie Wonder see. But Stevie Wonder can see better than some of us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Sometimes you need to lose your eyes because they fooled you. Go ahead. Yeah. That's true. That's right. Just think if you were dating somebody, you were blind. Now they really got to get to you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see you. Now tell me about yourself. <laughs> Go ahead. Boy, it's a whole bunch of girls I wish I'd never saw. <laughs> I'm sure there's a whole bunch which they never saw me. <laughs> I was a bad character. Anyway, anyway. Blind. Let's get back to blind. Come on, get y'all out your pain. Come on. <laughs> Are we blind? Yes, sir. Unable to see, lacking the sense of sight, sightless. Or unwilling or unable to perceive or understand. See, that's why you got to know the language. That's right. That's right. Not characterized or determined by reason or control. Not having or based on reason or intelligence. See, there's so many definitions far away from not being able to physical see. Most definition deals with perception. Go ahead. Mm. Did you good? Blind. See, in the nation, we have a process, and I watch people blindly go around the process, even when it comes to courtship. Come on. But the minister, I want to court this brother. Uh, oh, no, nah, this is how they come at me now. Oh, I'm already courting this brother. <laughs> uh oh. Already. When? <laughs> On what basis did you court him? That's right. Oh, he walked me to a car. <laughs> After the mom's meeting. I was giving her to open the car. He reached and got his hand kind of touched my. And I kind of like that. <laughs> That's it. Sister, do you know what kind of FOI that is? Oh, no, no. That's right. See, 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 y'all the problem. Oh, okay. Go ahead and get it. Because he don't come to the mosque. Mm. He don't give it charity. Come on, come on. He don't come to FOI class. Uh -oh. So you marry a man that if he don't come to the mosque, don't expect him to come home. Mm. Woo! Oh, If you don't come to class, expect he gonna live off you. Right. If you don't give him charity, right. yeah. come on. You can bypass this structure all you want, brother. Why you mad? Why, why you dating her? Oh, sister, do you know that this brother done been through at least twenty sisters? Mm. Teach, teach, teach. Wow. It's teaching. That's right. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you'll be his seventh wife. Man. Did you talk to the other six? Yeah. They only use car lock. Hey. <laughs> you 
better go check out what accent is he done had. Yeah. That's right. Ooh. That's right. Ooh. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, the brother's mad at me now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nah, go ahead, brother. Thank you, brother. Come on, man. Go ahead, sir. That's right. Come on. If I were you, I would go to the secretary. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. And I would say, what kind of mathematical brother is this? Oh, wow. mm. teach, teach. Because Islam is what? Mathematics. It didn't say brother or sister. Islam is what? Mathematics. Come on. Is he consistent coming to the mosque? Is he consistent going to his class? Is he consistent in his charity? Can I? Is he dependable? Come on. That still don't mean that. Okay. Now maybe I'll talk to him. Right. Yes, sir. That's right. Everybody I've seen go around this structure, I've seen their marriages not last. Oh, yeah. wow. Mm. Wow. Ooh, we got, let me, I didn't come to teach us. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? <laughs> what time? 1247. 1247. Yes, I got 10 minutes. Yes, sir. In our teachings, now, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and now Minister Farrakhan have to raise the deaf, the dumb, and the blind. Go ahead, go ahead. In order to do this, in our lessons, we got a lesson that says, why does the devil keep our people what? Yeah. Answer. So that he can use them for a tool and also a slave. He keeps them blind to themselves so that he can what? Master, Master them. them. That's, that's in our teaching. Then we have a teaching that says, oh, what happened? I think I got it. Brother Sherman, you messed me up. <laughs> okay, you're right. Now, we went through this in terms of the honorable boy Elijah Muhammad giving birth to this man. Oh, yeah. Minister Farrakhan, now he's being directly taught. We believe that Elijah Muhammad is alive. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Get that out of the way right now. We believe he's alive. Yeah. Where is he? He's on the wheel. He's on the right hand side of the Go ahead. Minister Safarcon said to the world, this man feeds me every day. I speak whatever he sends to me. I speak it. So how be it when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. The minister had been asking us to watch the weather. The minister had been saying Trump want to go to war. He want to go down to Venezuela and take those people off. The minister said, I ain't going. Then we have a lesson that says, who is the 85 percent? God broke down the world by percentages. Look at what 85 percent of the people on this planet are the Uncivilized people, poison animal eaters, right. slaves from a mental death and power. Right. People who do not know the living God and their origin in this world. Just blind, deaf, and dumb, right? Yes, sir. And they worship that they know not what. Right. Who are easily led in what? The wrong direction, but hard to lead in the right direction. 85%. Yes, Come on. That's us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Set triple. Go ahead. Then he said, who are the 10%ers? Yeah. There you go. The answer, the rich, the slave makers of the poor. Go ahead. Who teach the poor lies to believe that almighty, that the almighty true and living God is a spook and cannot be seen by the physical eye, otherwise known as the blood suckers of the poor. Right. Here they are. That's right. That's them. There they go. That's right. Do you know, Minister Farrakhan said that 84% of all the stocks is owned by the 10%. Think about that. True that. Go ahead. Then we have a lesson that said, who hit the 5%? That's it. Go ahead. Who's the 5% in the poor part of the earth? Answer. They are the poor righteous teachers who do not believe in the teachings of the 10% and are all wise and know the living God and know who the living God is and teach them. That the living God is the son of man, the supreme being, the black man of Asia. Come on. 
and teach freedom, justice, and equality to all the human family of the planet Earth, otherwise known as civilized people, also are Muslim and Muslim sons. Go ahead. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Now, I want to go into who Minister Farrakhan truly is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. There's a story in the Bible about a Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Come on, come on. Do you know that that never happened 2,000 years ago? Come on, teach. Minister Farrakhan gave us the true history of Jesus. Do you know that 75% of what you read about Jesus didn't happen yesterday? It's right. prophecy to be fulfilled yes, in the last day. This man, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, his only work is to teach a clear message. But in Lazarus' case, Mary, one of the uh, women, the poor women, you had Mary Martha, it's like four different Marys. Right. Came to Jesus and told Jesus Lazarus was dead, right? Right. Jesus said, he ain't dead, he's just asleep. Right. Show me where they have laid him. Loose him. Come on. See? Look at the miracle. Now here's white people knew they changed our name, changed our language, changed our religion. White folks said, after 64 years that it took to break us, that we would never rise again. Right. 1700s, they chained us. 1820, they hung us. In the 2000s, they shooting us. We still need a savior. Yes, sir. So a man made a call. Go ahead. That's right. Lazarus being raised from the dead. Go ahead. Look, when Minister Farquhar called for the Million Man March in 1995, I was in the hotel room when all of the clergy from the AME, the Baptists, all of the heads came to him and told him it'll never work. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, come on. I was in the meeting. Jesse came, Al Sharpton, yeah. Minister Farrakhan. You can't call no million man march on no Monday. Oh, no. <laughs> the minister bowed his head. Yeah. I mean, we was upset. I wanted to kind of yeah. slap Jesse. Right. Go ahead. <laughs> it's just me talking. Yeah. That's right. The minister said, no, hold on, brothers. They have their viewpoint. And the minister said, y'all remind me of the Bell Prophets. Mm. <laughs> He said this word to all of them. He said, I tell you what, y'all pray against it. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to pray for it. Let's see who God is God. Woo! Go ahead. But look at the minister. Then he said to them, but when they show up, I want you standing with me. And I want you to take the platform. So that's in the scripture. Yeah. Where Jesus went and called Lazarus from the dead. Right. And remember in the scripture, when Lazarus was called, Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth, right? Loose him, Satan, and let him go. On a Monday now, loose him, Satan, the minister said, black man, don't go to work. We didn't go to work. Two million men showed up. Go back and look at CNN. Look at what they said. This is a miracle. ABC said, a miracle happened because this was at the time when they was attacking O.J. Simpson. Go ahead, go ahead. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. They came hand bound, feet bound. They had a gray cloth over their eyes. Come on, come on. Farrakhan is to Jesus. Go ahead. So when people said, oh, he did that with all of our help, he did it four times. Yeah. Three more times after this. Yeah. Go ahead. The next one was the Million Family March. Right. Over a million came. Go ahead, go ahead. The preacher said, damn, then he did it again. Come on. Two more times. Go ahead. Millions more movies. Yeah. Just as a F. Nobody. Them, them Negroes didn't come to this one. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. The minister yeah. called this one Justice or yeah. Else. And Jesse and them didn't show up. Right. Right. Come on now. But they said, what do you mean, Justice or Else? Yes, that's right. The only ones came were the youth. Right. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. That's why Jesus said, suffer the little children unto me. That's right. Yeah. So the youth came. That's right. After that, Pharaoh said, we're going to have to kill Jesus. Yeah. Mm. Now I'm going to teach you 
Is it as beautiful? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Holy Quran said, respite me to the day when they are raised. Yes. So we are raised now. Yes, sir. Yes. So from Minister Farrakhan has come an exceedingly yes. great honor. That's right. Go ahead. This is what you are about to see. That's right. This is why we're calling the black man and the black woman back to your original self. Go ahead. Yes, <laughs> when the white man see this, he knows you out of his matrix. Yes. Oh. Did you know? Go ahead. You know? He know he don't own this. When they see us, they say, God dang it. God got them back. Yeah. I know, I, I know, brothers and sisters. We may not yet have the beautiful cathedral, but we're gonna own all this. Oh, we're gonna own it all. Wow. The very people we need in the nation is sitting in these seats. Good. Good. By the grace of Allah, after 90 days, I intend, and the believers with me, we buying all of this. Good. Good. Peace. We buying it all. We gonna buy buses. We gonna buy vans. We gonna go pick up every black homeless person. We gonna clean them up. Good. In the name of Allah. We going to figure all, all the whores coming with us. Good. Peace. I'm serious. Right. Oh, man, we got some fighters up in here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. We're going to say, come on, sister. You belong to us now. Right. Well, what about my pimp? That nigga better sit down. Right. Go ahead. Right. MGT, are y'all ready to receive him? Yes, sir. They're going to come like this now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, straight. It's all right. Don't worry about what the brother's trying to look at. Yeah. You know we wear shades when they show up like that. <laughs> I'm giving it up. Sister's gonna say, uh-huh, look at them brothers outside on the post, all of them got on shit. <laughs> Don't worry about them taking them from you. That's right. That's right. Ain't nothing in here to take. That's right. That's right. That's right. Sister, are you ready for them to come like this? Yes, sir. Some of them are gonna come liking you. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can a woman that like women come in here, can you, with your spirit, change her? Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Oh, or will some of her ways tantalize you and pull you her way? Mm. Mm. See, see that. See, see, see that. See the foundation. Mm. Look, when you become a God and you know who you really are, you can go get next to nothing and raise it to the ten power. Go ahead. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Brothers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are y'all ready for our brothers to come? They're going to come like this. Right yes, sir. Right now. Some of them going to come like this. All right. right. Brother Minister, can I get in the rear and drill from the behind? <laughs> <laughs> Don't start drilling like this. We're going to a real man to get that. Come here, brother. Come here. Come here, man. What's all that funny? All that funny. We don't drill like that, brother. Right, right, right. Why you got your hand like this when you drill? <laughs> Show it. Right. The little gay thing, he starts saying, man, that's my nature. Next thing you know, he lose that. Go ahead. Go ahead. And when he lose it, don't hold that against him and say, man, he's a fat. Come on, man. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Come on. That ain't his nature. Right. That's, right. That's his circumstance. Right. That's right. That's right. Yes. So I'm saying not on a Sunday. We're gonna pick up the homeless and have them in here by the hundreds on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. And I'm asking the unself-righteous Muslims to be there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because yes, they're gonna be stank. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, but I don't to. care Come on. to a person who's trying to say that their stench smell good to you. Right. Mm. Good teacher. Good teacher. I watch Minister Farrakhan. He teacher. called me and others to Chicago when he went among the people. And I saw the homeless. I mean, the brothers were stinking. We were holding them back. The minister said, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Leave them alone. Yes, and they, I mean, that he was holding them. It smelled like piss. I'm looking at my leader, I'm like, God, I can't speak like that. Right. And they were crying, and I'm watching these people heal as he hug them. That was right there. That's right. Wow. I'm telling you. I mean, a woman, she was so drunk that when the minister hugged her, she walked away sober. God's truth. Be like that. Yeah. 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 I want to call on my people.
people. Get in the tent with them. What you looking at, brother? Let me put something else in. Be in the tent, laying back with them. Brother, you'll move them. Don't be in here with your suit, nigga. If you land in here, I'm going to land in here. Come on. That's right, brother. Come on. Straight, that's the kind of Muslim I'm looking That's for. Right. We gotta save our people, yes. brother. Yes. Yes. Come on. It's time. Come on. Yes, Why don't you stand up for Farrakhan? Yes. Yes. Well, I thank you. All praise to you. Thank you. Have a seat. Have a seat. Uh oh, we have a birthday today. Wow, we have a sister. Wow, that's beautiful. We got a sister, let me see. We have a sister that now had a birthday. She's like this now. Come on, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, I don't even know how to say this name. <laughs> come, on, come help me with this name. Sister, can you, do you know what this is? Trinitra. Where's Sister Tanitra? Oh! Come on over, oh, Sister Tanitra. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. This is the resurrection of the day. Wow, oh, Sister Tanitra. Her name used to be Sister Tanitra Farmer. She's now Sister Tanitra X. Go ahead, Sister. Born in the nation of Islam. Go ahead, Sister. Have a seat. She now have her X, meaning that everything she did before she came in the nation of Islam, those are not her sins. That's right. That's been erased out of her life. That's right. Everything she do from the day on marked her time. Go ahead. Right. As a living person. That's right. Huh? X means unknown, because we don't know what our real names are come on, come in on. mathematics. X also means the number 10. Mm. Here this sister was in this state, nothing. Come on, come on. But God, who is one, can stand by zero. Yes. Come on, come on. Come on. Go ahead. Now she is so raised. If you don't believe she got juice, I'll do a test right after the mosque meet. Let her walk right by that corner. All them, the, those men. Yeah. Go ahead. When she walk by, watch how they get out of the way. Right. Right. Come on. Because in this state, she reached their nature. Go ahead. In this state, she'll reach their demons. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good teacher. Go ahead, sis. See? So now she's Sister Tanitra X. Yes. Meaning she's ten times better than the person she used to be. So, sister, are you going to Yes. Brother, sister, rise to your feet and help us welcome our new members of the nation of Islam. Sister Tanitra X. Come. Close about her with this. Have a seat. Thanks, sir. Sister, may Allah bless you. And may Allah wipe away all your tears. Any pain that you endured in that life, you get a chance to do it all over again. That's right. You don't start living until you find out who you are. Right. 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 So we can say too, for unto us a child is born. That's right. Right. She is now a full-fledged member in the nation of Islam having the rights to exercise her constitutional right as a member. Now I want you to learn the structure and learn how everything is supposed to go. So even those of us in leadership, if we wrong, you're supposed to check us. See? We want us to know this teaching so good that no interpreter can come when Minister Farrakhan leave and take us in some other kind of direction. So may Allah bless you, sister. Welcome to the system. That's right. That's what I'm saying. At this time, I'm going to bring. Huh? 
How many of you believe what you heard today to be the truth and good for us as a people? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's beautiful. How many of you, this is your first time at a Nation of Islam meeting? Raise your hand, all our family. Go ahead. Wow. Wow. Man, what an honor. Look, do y'all know we blood of each other's blood? Go ahead. No, we family. That's right. Huh? I don't care what your last name is. We might be even really blood relatives. We got sold to so many damn plantations. So you say you believe what you heard today to be the truth. This next question should be easy. Come on. I don't know about you, but I'm ready. I'm ready to get with a man that I know won't disappoint me. Huh? I, as a member of the Nation of Islam, and everybody in here, we can, we can bear witness that Farrakhan saved our lives. Yes. Go ahead. I'm here. I was selling dope. I was putting cocaine in women's nose. Go ahead. Go ahead. And men. I was turning people out so fast for the white man. Till I heard Farrakhan. Go ahead. Farrakhan said, brother, come follow me, and I'll make you a fisher of men. Go ahead. Huh? He said, because when you follow me, I'll make you distinct from other black men. Go ahead. And I gave myself over, and I bear witness, man. I, I'm not no big person, but I'm kind of known in Los Angeles. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Love the streets. But I wasn't always this way. When they arrest Minister Farrakhan, I got to show up to court and say, Cracker, that's my leader. I don't know what you know about that man. I know I was once lost. Right. Huh? I used to want to kill you, Crackers, but this man wasn't for him. Some of y'all would be dead. Because even when I was selling dope, I hated white people. Come on, come on. <laughs> and the minister said, I don't want you to hate white skin, brother. I want you to hate the mind that Yaku produced. Because it can show up in any color. Wow, that's right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Come on, y'all. What you waiting for? How many of you now want to stand up right now and join on and let's go get our people? Don't be scared. Stand up. Anybody want to learn more about yourself? That's right. That's right. Come on, sister. 